hello friends in most of the uh, interviews some uh, like i face very difficult question like why a primary key is mandatory in for transaction replication so whenever i face the first question i say that like it's a prerequisite so if i configure uh, like any future that uh, we require some rules and regulations that's how i replied but uh, to some extent that's uh, that good but if your experience grows so you have to explain that in like a meaningful way why it is required and everything today i i will explain why it is mandatory uh, for data integrity per perspective i will show you how to, we can do that so lenovo sql and sql 2019 is my distributor come publisher sql 2019 hyderabad is a subscriber okay now i am creating one table called students with the three, three columns call id name location in the select columns execute now i am inserting 10 records okay in the student table done now if i go in test here sorry if i go okay here you can uh, you here you can see five records in the publisher okay now i will add those i already created a subscription here now i will add one more sorry now articles now i am selecting students table click okay now now view snapshot agent now click start so i am not taking an i am not enable like uh, anonymous image sync so since this is small demo so when previously i was an article now second article just close now go to the uh, table here this uh, student table is there or not okay and now i am coming here i am refreshing where is the students yeah now is when this copy now i am having 10 records now if you see here in publisher i am having five records in the subscriber also i am having five records why because primary to subscriber now what i am going to do here i am inserting i am inserting one uh, another five records in subscriber i am not doing in the uh, pub uh, in the publisher i am doing only in the subscriber if you see here okay now click execute okay so if i see here in subscriber i am having 10 records in subscriber uh, in publisher i am having five uh, five records okay so we, we here we don't have any data integrity i mean i i manually enter the data in the subscriber for example now what i want to do here is i am insert i want to insert so i want to update the first name to harsha where location is equal to india if i do that here okay so in the subscriber i am doing here like this okay okay now it will update all the records all the records here in five records in there but what about uh, here here i am having 10 records right but see it will update only five records what about remaining data this data information is not there in the publisher so how come we know the here whatever we do here so this exact statement will get uh, updated uh, will get executed in the subscriber it, it is not like that so it will do like this okay now where update uh, i will do that set name where is equal to and uh, id is equal to 1 okay and so 
वाट एवर यू डू इन दप्रीशर इट विल गो लाइक दिस फॉर सब्सक्राइबर ऑल दीज कमेंड विल गो एंड विल गेट एक्सिक्यूटेड ओके एंड लाइक दिस दट्स अ रीजन दट्स अ रीजन प्राइमरी की इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ट्रांसक्शन रिप्लीकेशन फॉर मेन्टेनिंग डेटा इंटीग्रिटी ओके सो if i do that it will get updated like this right okay it will uh, the internal uh, like log reader agent and everything it will copy the records it will uh, execute the commands like this it will add the primary key that's the reason okay all the even though i'm having 10 records with the location india but it will not change the first name to harsha for uh, after 6 onwards that's the reason okay it will change only to the fifth five records what what we are having in the publisher this is the reason why we required primary key for transaction replication this is how you can give answer in the interview i hope you may like this video thank you bye